Show me your habits and I'll show you your future. If you really want to change your life for the better and be healthier, wealthier and happier, then let me tell you these two simple science-backed strategies to form life-changing habits. You've got goals, you've written them in your journal, you've made a vision board, you've even posted about it and told the world on social media. And guess what? There's no point. Not one. It's not enough. You're about to make me cry. If you don't do these two simple habit forming strategies alongside writing down your goals, you're going to fail. I'm not crying, you're crying. One day, we're all going to die. I don't want to. And I can tell you now, if you keep doing this cycle of wishing and wanting your goals to happen without forming the habits that will get you there, you're going to die without having reached your potential. And guess what? Nobody wants that. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm Jimmy from Body Smart, helping you cut the BS and giving you the facts, not fads on today's topic, the habits that will change your life. Habit strategy one, your systems. James Clare, the author of Atomic Habits, has this incredible phrase that I want you to think about carefully. You do not rise to the level of your goals, but you fall to the level of your systems. Because we can all have high level goals. Lose 50 pounds, run a marathon, make a million, but if we don't have the systems in place to get us there, these goals are going to stay in your head and you'll get buried six feet under having never achieved them. At some point, you've got to accept that you will need to do the work, but don't fall into the trap of thinking you have to do all the work at once. So rule one of creating a system for your goals is to make it small. What's the least that you can commit to? If fat loss is your goal, how many workouts can you definitely do? Can you drink one more glass of water each day? Can you increase your protein intake each day? Small steps will compound over time. A 1% better everyday mentality will actually make you 37 times better by the end of a full year. Rule two of creating a system for your goals is to plan in your small action steps. It's okay saying it, but when are you going to do it? Do it, do it. In order to form a new habit, it must go through three steps. Step one, the cue. This is what kicks off the habit, and it could be a place, a time, a day, other people, an emotional state, or an immediately preceding action. Step two, the routine. This is the repeated behavior as the habit forms. Step three, the reward. This is the payoff for what the habit does for you. So to give you a real world example, let's look at drinking more water each day. The cue is the time of day. You've just woken up and you go to the bathroom. The routine is, after using the bathroom, you drink a glass of water. The reward is the positive feeling of quenching your thirst after waking. Charles Duhigg, the author of The Power of Habit, states over 40% of the things we do daily do not require any decisions, but they are the habits that we've formed over time. The good news is that you can change or form a new habit, but it requires practice. So, when we look at changing our lives, let's look at the habit cues and how we can stack new desirable habits together with the current habits you do each day. With habit stacking, think about the things you do on autopilot. Waking up, brushing your teeth, getting your morning coffee, getting dressed, taking the kids to school, walking the dog. There will be thousands of small actions that you do every day without even thinking about it. As those small actions and habits are already established and consistent, you can bolt on new habits. You can use the phrase, when this, then that, to help you remember this. When this is the trigger or preceding action, and then that is the action and the habit that follows. For example, when I get out of bed, then I will do my stretch routine. When I brush my teeth, then I will do 10 squats. When I get home from work, then I will walk the dog. So that is step one of establishing a new habit, consciously deciding on the cue. Step two is the routine. So the more you do this, the more likely it becomes a habit. Step three is the reward. So that feeling that comes after each specific habit. Take this one step further in the beginning and reward yourself verbally or mentally by congratulating yourself every time you complete a habit stack. Well done, Jamie, you've done a habit stack. Thanks, pal. So that was simple, life-changing habit tip one. Create a habit system. Life-changing habit tip two is focus on identity-based habits. For example, 
let's say two people have a goal of stopping smoking and they're offered a cigarette. Person A says, I'm trying to give up smoking. Person B says, I'm a non-smoker. Who has shifted their identity? Which person is most likely to sustain their results? The person trying to give up smoking or the person who shifts their identity to be a non-smoker? Even though both might be struggling with giving up smoking, it is a significant psychological difference between trying and identifying as the person who has already achieved that goal. With this strategy of creating identity-based habits, you've got to go into the future. I always say, show me your habits and I'll show you your future. Whether you have good habits or bad habits, the future version of the person you want to become, you will become, depending on the things that you do on a regular basis. Let's say your goal is to lose 50 pounds this year. Ask yourself, how would a person who loses 50 pounds identify? One idea could be, I am a strong and healthy person. Then ask, what does a person who has lost 50 pounds do? I can tell you that body smart clients who lose 50 pounds track their calorie intake so they know for sure whether they're eating in a calorie deficit. They learn a ton about nutrition and help them make decisions on what to eat without the guilt while getting results. They drink water and a lot of it. They move their body in some capacity every day. They focus on their protein and fiber intake. They get great sleep. They work on their mindset and a load of other great stuff that all compounds together to help them achieve the goal of losing 50 pounds. That's a weight loss goal, but you could do this with anything. Let's say you wanted to compete in running races. What does a person who identifies as a runner do? Let's say you want to reduce your stress levels. What does a person who identifies as being calm do? Let's say you want to be debt free. What does a person who identifies as being good with money or rich do? It doesn't matter what your future goal is, but looking into your future matters. So a quick recap on these two life-changing habit strategies. Number one, Create a system, not goals. Stop declaring your goals and start working on your habit systems because it is the action that you do on a daily or a very regular basis that will lead you to achieving that goal. Bolt new habits you want to do with those habits you're already doing without thinking. Two, work on identity-based habits that will achieve your future self goals. Stop wanting and wishing to be a certain way and start working for it by working backwards. Who do you want to be? What identity-based habits will get you there? Follow these simple habit-forming strategies and I promise you, they can change your life. I'm Jamie from Body Smart, and I'd love to know what is your number one goal and what are the three habits that will help you achieve it? Let us know in the comments. Jamie, habit stacking. When I do a YouTube video, then I will tell them about other amazing YouTube videos we've done. And did you know you're 40% more likely to achieve a goal if you create a system of self-monitoring? And we've got an amazing video on this right here. It's not fortune telling, it's habits. <laughs>